In this video, I'll show you how to fix a clock from uh, your Subaru Impreza or Forester. If ever the clock refuses to turn on or if the numbers are really dim and hard to see, this trick will uh, make it work like new. What you'll need is a soldering gun like this one with a fine tip. You'll also need some kind of flathead screwdriver, a small one will do the job. If you don't have it, just a knife and maybe some soldering wire. 90% of the cases, you, you won't need this, but uh, just have it handy if we ever need it. So first thing is to open the casing. You take your knife or flathead screwdriver and you see these are four tabs. We need to pry them open. I try to do it with the clock facing down to not have the, the buttons flying everywhere when it opens. So let's do it. Insert it under and then twist the screwdriver. This is what I'm doing. Okay, great. Now you can just open it up like this. Oh, this tab didn't work. Okay, perfect. So we can set this side with the buttons as aside. We won't need it. And now we have this part. I'll explain you what's happening here on the circuit board. The problem with these clocks is that there are some, I don't know, transistor resistors that their soldering are going bad. So you have this one, 240, this one that is marked 240 as well. There is one here just under, which is 270 here. And the last one is another 270 here. So all we have to do is take the soldering gun and reheat all the soldering connectors. All right. So each of them has two on each side, here and here. We need to heat them up, here and here. All right, my heating gun is ready. So I just put it over the soldering and just rub it gently like this until I see it melting. Okay, this one is a bit hard here. Be careful to not burn this tab. Okay. I know it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm just burning this tab too at the same time. Don't do like me. You don't need special skills to do this either, as you can see. Just put it there and here we go. Okay, now we have this one which is hidden right here. The best will be to have this on the table, but uh, I want to show it to you and you won't see anything if I put it on the table. So all you have to do is just to slide, slide it like, oops, just to slide it this way to heat it up. Okay. Now the other side. Oh, I'm melting the tab again right here. It's okay, I didn't broke it, but don't do like as I did. Be more careful. And the last one, this one, it's quite the easiest one. Like this. And 
like this. So we'll test it out because I'm not sure uh, if it's gonna work. Sometimes, I would say 90% of the time it works without you adding more soldering wire, but we may need some. So let me test this out first. All right, so I have my connector here. It's the same you have in your car. And I'll just plug it. You're gonna plug it in the car. And yeah, it seems to work. Wow. As you can see, it's quite clear. Perfect, the clock is now working. If in your case it still does not work, all you have to do is, um, well, to take again your soldering gun, go through the same connectors, but this time after heat them up, you're gonna add more soldering, okay? On each of them, because you don't know which of them is causing the trouble. But once you're done, it's quite easy to reassemble. I mean, you just need to take back the front casing and to know which way it goes around. It's these two are going where these two black marks are on the circuit board. So, like so. And you, uh, you need to clip them all together. Like so. Okay, so this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it didn't help, then uh, I guess you can go on eBay. They're selling them for uh, 20, 30 bucks max, these clocks. And um, yeah, you'll have your replacement this way. But before that, please go just try it at home. Uh, it will cost you nothing and probably in 10 minutes you'll be done. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.